like anyone would want to marry a zombie like you. Plus, you have no heart, Grundy. What does Batman mean? Why don't Grundy look deep inside himself? Grundy look inside chest! Oh, Grundy hate Batman. Grundy just had a heart attack. Hi, Batman. Get your Batman figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. They're full of justice. Oh, man, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review. The Batman Arkham City DC Collectibles Deluxe Solomon Grundy figure. Here you can see the big old box that Solomon Grundy comes in with the DC Collectibles logo on the top uh, left-hand corner right there. Uh, he has a nice window box, as you can see right here. It has that DC Collectible design. that has the Batman Arkham City logo. It says Arkham Deluxe figure, Solomon Grundy. Warning, don't want to choke on your Grundy. He was born on Monday. By the box, it says figure stands approximately 13 inches high. It has a nice picture of Solomon Grundy on here, sculpted by Joe Minna. Well, the other side says includes removal, chest piece, and heart. It has a really cool picture of Solomon Grundy. Ooh, very gruesome picture. Back here shows a picture of Solomon Grundy. It says, born on a Monday, but perfect for display on any day of the week. This fabulously detailed oversized action figure is based on Grundy's appearance in the best-selling video game, Batman Arkham City. Here also available is the Tiny Joker, which I reviewed, as well as the Killer Croc and Mr. Free. I better review Solomon Grundy before it becomes a Monday. And here we got Solomon Grundy. Holy crap, he's one big badass figure. Let's take a closer look at it. Now I love the look of Salman Grundy in Arkham City. I was so happy to have him in the game and I think DC Collectibles nailed it with the look of this figure. Just the eyes, the teeth. He looks like a mixture of Frankenstein and like a zombie. It's so freaking cool. I love the blue veins going out like kind of like how he's all electrified. His ear, you can see the detail in his hair. Very nice, amazing paint apps on this guy. This is one work of gruesome art, I think, and we're not even, you know, wait till I show you the inside of him. I love the material they use for his, like, uh, vest thing that's all shredded right here. And you can see all his scars and stitching, the blue paint right here. You can see his chains are really nice, his hands. Ew, look at those fingernails. Oh man, he's one dirty mofo. Oh man, and he's a heavy figure. Holy crap, my god. But yeah, you can see here just the amount of detail they put in here. I love all the holes and you know rips in his in the back of here. Just very Salmon Grundy butt. <laughs> you gotta love it. But yeah, the chains right here. And look at the chest, it just Wait till you see underneath the chest, but yeah, you can see the stitches right there that protrude out. It's a tense man. Ooh, very gruesome right there. Like the little rope uh, holding his pants up together. And the little sculpting in the ribs right here. It's just so amazing. And like I said, it's very heavy, but luckily I've been working out, so it's all good. Can hold a big ass Grundy figure. And. Yeah, look at that. Charmus Prime, this is for you, man. Love them. Salmon Grundy toes. They were born on a Monday. Yeah, so very amazing. Just the amount of detail on here is monstrous. For articulation, Salmon Grundy doesn't have a lot, but he has a good amount. His head does kind of goes up and down just a little bit. It fully rotates in a weird <laughs> kind of way, but he's a zombie, so or whatever. Uh, his arms fully rotate. They go in and out. He does have bicep articulation, and he does bend at the elbow, pretty tight joints. He does have wrist articulation that are on these kind of ball joints, so they do go in and out too, which is great. He doesn't have waist articulation or anything, be I guess because of, which I'll show you in a bit, but his legs kind of are all in this semi ball joint things that you know they kind of go forward at an angle and they go in and out a little bit they do also ooh, and bend at the knee and that's it so you're not going to really get any big poses out of him but just having him standing he looks awesome here's the grossest but coolest thing about Salmon Grinny he has a removable chest and heart so you can actually remove that Ugh. And yeah, you can actually see right here, he has really awesome detail. He has the ribs right here, and ugh, just gruesome. I love it. 
So yeah, and here you can see his insides, you know, he does have a heart, or does he? So yeah, you can actually take out the heart, it all stays together pretty easily, and ooh, so yeah, there's his heart right there, you know. Oh, Salman Grundy has a heart. Pretty nice detail, I have to say. I just think it's really cool because, you know, in the game you have to rip out his heart. I figured that one out. Uh, uh. I think that would work. He's twice my size. Oh, wait, I know why. Because I'm Batman. Size comparison time. So here you can see there's a lot of things you can compare Salman Grundy to in terms of size. You can see how much bigger to other Batman Arkham City figures like the super articulated Batman we saw here. He's like double the size. Like, wow, he's like crazy. He's even bigger than Titan Joker, even with his mohawk. He's bigger than a Hot Toys figure, uh, than like the DX12 Batman. He's bigger than a Marvel Select uh, Hulk. And you can see how much bigger he is than the DC you see, Solomon Grundy. If you've been a fan of the DC uh, Collectibles Batman Arkham City uh, line, this is definitely the biggest and probably best figure we've gotten so far. I love the detail uh, on this figure. I love that you can remove his chest and his heart. Um, he's just so big and massive. And um, the articulation, yeah, could be a little bit better. My main thing is I kind of wish he came with a sand because like Titan Joker, you, you worry about a big figure like this falling over and even my Titan Joker is like has a tendency of falling over. So, you know, that's one thing I'd be worried about, you know, be careful the way you stand him. You can't really do that, that, that many dynamic poses anyway. But with that said, uh, even if you missed out on say like the DCUC Salmon Grinny, I think this guy works so well in your DC collections display, whether it's, um, you know, like New 52 or I don't know, like whatever, like any type of, uh, it doesn't have to be Batman Arkham City, it could just, it's just a great Salman Grunny figure in general. Uh, he is uh, 80 bucks though, so that's only a bad thing too, he is kind of pricey, uh, which you can get right now at BigBadToyStore.com, link is in the description. But like I said, he's such a huge figure and with the amount of detail and you know everything you're getting, I, I think he's well worth it and I highly recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, and more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Gnome, and a big way. All right, check out bkbn.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> Hulk, smash! Grundy, smash! Hey, that's not cool. Hulk is the one who smashes. No, Grundy, smash! Okay, how about this? We both smash. Grundy liked that idea. By the way, do you realize that we have the same voice actor? Holy crap! Grundy liked that voice actor! Hulk, you are a smash! You have Grundy's heart! Grundy, right! Hulk does have Grundy's heart! What? Hulk, give back Grundy's heart! No!